Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my basic tutorial for the plugin World Edit by SK89Q. Now, World Edit is one of the most essential plugins for any server. It's an awesome building utility plugin that allows you to automize lots of the building process. So I'm actually gonna do this tutorial a little bit by example. So we have this nice, long, tall tower here. And first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and copy it. So to start copying it, you're going to need to set your region. So here we have our first position set by running the command slash slash POS1. And you can also set a region by using a wooden ax. This by default, serves as the region setter for world edit and we actually already have our second position set so when we right click with our wooden x uh, it already got set but if we were to right click in a different spot then it would mark a new spot so to go ahead and copy it we're going to go ahead and run the command slash slash copy and running the command slash slash copy actually copies the entire region from position one to position two in a cuboid shape. And the copy is actually relative to where you're standing from the build. So to go ahead and paste it, you can run the command slash slash paste. If you're not pasting over existing blocks, I like to run the command slash slash paste minus A. And this is actually allows you to paste without air blocks being pasted in and this will actually uh, help with your server's lag. As you guys can see, the build that we pasted in was a little wide. That is completely okay uh, with me though. But with this paste, we can actually go ahead and modify it a little bit. So let's say we want it to face a different direction. We could actually go ahead and undo this specific paste and then we could go ahead and rotate it. So we could go ahead and run the command slash slash rotate. The rotations are actually set by uh, different intervals of 90 degrees. So if we want it to face the completely other way, we could run the command slash slash rotate 180 and then paste from there. And as you guys can see, the build has been entirely mirrored and now the door is facing the other way while um, the original door is facing one way. As I mentioned earlier, we can easily handle the bit of extra fat on our build. We could go ahead and set our region again. We could do slash slash position one and then we gotta go ahead and set our second position here. And keep in mind, I just wanna get rid of all these blocks here but none of the floor. So now we can go ahead and set our second position we could set it right here and then we can just run the command slash slash cut and boom it is removed rather easily additionally you could also run the command slash slash replace and then followed by a block and then it's all replaced by air if you just want a specific block removed, let's say we want to keep the wood and the trees and such, you could do slash slash replace dirt followed by air and boom, those specific blocks are removed. Here's a small thing just because we're here, we have this waterfall just chilling right here. We could run the command slash slash drain followed by how many blocks away. We can just set it to 50 and 143 blocks have been drained. You could run this on both water and on lava. One feature that I absolutely love with World Edit is the brush feature. To use it, you're just gonna run the command slash slash brush, followed by the specific type of feature that you want to add. We could go ahead and set it to sphere. Next, we're going to set the specific type of block. I like to use uh, andesite, and we could do something like redstone lamp, something weird. And then how big of a sphere we want, we can just set it to one block in radius. And we are holding a wooden sword and you're going to need some sort of tool to set the brush properly. Next, we can just right click and anywhere that we place it, we will actually form the sphere formation. So you can just stack on top of it itself really quickly. So this can create lots of really impressive builds really, really fast, which I love. A neat feature that you can use with your brush is actually the mask feature. So we could go ahead and use our stone sword and we could do slash brush sphere and then we could go ahead and set it to something like 
oak logs. And we can go ahead and mask. So we could go ahead and mask the andesite. So you do mask andesite and that has been set. So now when we right click, all of the andesite that we have placed actually becomes oak logs. But all of the redstone lamps that we've placed have not been effective because we are only editing our existing andesite. That's just how the mask works. So that can be really quick for a lot of easy edits. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show what I think might be a little bit useful. So let's set our first position here and we can go ahead and set our second position right here. What I do like is the walls command. You could do slash slash walls set by a specific block. So we could uh, just set that to glowstone and the entire region of what we have selected, just the outer parts, now gets a nice layer of glowstone walls. Uh, additionally, with this selection that we have highlighted, we can run the command slash slash overlay. And here we can go ahead and put in our very own sort of pattern. So we can go set it to something like overlay dirt. And we can also set it to grass block. And all of the blocks on top now have the dirt and grass block pattern whereas blocks underneath this layer um, do not so i think that's a really nice easy um, stuff to implement you could do a lot of cool patterns like if you're creating a block party map or something like that additionally there's also the command slash slash flora this actually populates the current area with different types of flora such as grass flowers etc and a related command to that is going to be slash slash forest which will actually populate a specific region with trees you will need something like grass or dirt to uh, put the trees on top of though it won't work if you're applying this to stone to highlight one of the cooler aspects of roll edit i'm actually going to go ahead and set the positions once again of the region that i want and we can set it to position two and now we're going to go ahead and make a quick copy of our area and now we can go ahead and run the command slash slash flip now instead of rotating, you're actually flipping it over the Y axis. So the copy has been flipped. We're gonna paste without air just to save on lag a little bit. And as you guys can see, the entire region that we have here has actually been fully flipped. So if we actually check this out, it looks kind of crazy, right? Like the buildings are just totally flipped upside down. Looks like some sort of Stranger Things alternate dimension. I like this a lot. I think you can actually find a few practical uh, things to do with this sort of command. One feature that I really do like is the smooth feature. You could go ahead and set your positions real quick. This is a really great command to go ahead and flatten out some big mountains. Or you could use other uh, things as well, but all it does is it takes things that are sticking out a lot and it just smooths it out and makes it as flat as possible. So we just ran the command slash slash smooth. As you guys can see, it's pretty brutal on trees. It just completely flattens them. But yeah, the more that we uh, run the smooth command or you could set a number afterwards, it's just gonna keep smoothing things out until it's pretty much flat. So uh, it takes some time, but you could also run, as I said, a number afterwards to increase the amount of smoothness. One other thing that you could do is actually by using brush you could actually go ahead and set it to gravity and this will actually send any blocks that are um, just sticking out on their own and you give the full effects of gravity so all the leaves just dropped here and you know we could go ahead and try it on this massive um, flipped build that we have here so if we were to just click it boom the entire tower just pretty much collapses and you know we can apply it here and it just sends blocks straight down. It helps iron things out a little bit, helps smooth things out. But on a build like this, it just sends things straight down, which ultimately does have its own uses as well if you're trying to uh, knock things down. So it's like if you have floating sand or gravel, instead of just hitting it, you could run the gravity command and just send stuff straight down. It can be used in a similar smooth-like fashion, 
depending on what you're working with here. Alrighty guys, now I'm going to go ahead and showcase some of the basic shapes that you can create using roll edit. So we can go ahead and run the command slash slash sphere followed by the blocks we want to use. So we can go ahead and use obsidian and something cool like gilded black stone followed by how big of a sphere that we want to make. We could go ahead and set it to five and I'll have a full radius of five. And as you guys can see, we got this cool little egg just chilling here. If we wanted to make it a hollow sphere, we could actually run the command slash slash H sphere followed by, we'll just make it gilded black stone and, uh, and a site, it's just in my head guys. And we go ahead and set that to five. And as you guys can see, we are actually inside of this thing. It's completely hollow and all shapes that we can make with roll edit actually do have a hollow feature. So I won't go over uh, both with all the shapes. Next, we have the pyramid. We can go ahead and do slash slash pyramid. We could go ahead and use something like sandstone followed by sandstone wall, I guess. Let's see how that one looks. And we could go ahead and set that to eight. And that will actually give it a base of eight. Uh, the sandstone and sandstone wall don't exactly look great, but I actually don't think it looks that bad either. And again, you could do the hollow variant just to give it a hollow interior similar to the sphere. Next up we have the cylinder, which can actually be pretty useful. We can go ahead and set it to a hollow cylinder, and we could go ahead and use blocks such as the gold block, the diamond block, and we can go ahead and set it to the redstone block followed by nine and this will actually set the radius but we also need a height set as well so we can go ahead and set that bad boy to 10 so it's nine wide and 10 blocks tall and here we go with this very nice easily made cylinder this would be awesome for like quick arena setup or for like a tnt run map the opportunities are endless though and anyways guys, that's going to conclude my basics of world edit video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Also feel free to check out my Minecraft server Barbercraft IP down in the description below. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by the Sangota Marketplace, a great website for server owners to get high quality premium Minecraft plugins for their server. Sangoda promotes fair business practices and is constantly improving their website based off of user feedback.